Uh, okay, this is CARP 2, lecture 15, and uh, that's a new chapter, chapter 8, further applications of integration. And the first uh, subsection is arc length. Uh, okay, so when I finish arc length, I stop and then start the other one in another lecture. So, now what is arc length? We have a curve, this can be a graph of something, some function or graph of a relation, say. Uh, so we are given a function now, so we have fx and from a to b. And we want to find this out, the length of this curve from a to b. So what we do is uh, Again, we find an element of arc length and then integrate, integrate that and we have arc length. So, at point x on the x-axis between a and b, we just go forward by dx and then look at this small portion. This is my d up. So, this, this small portion is the element of length, dl. So if I integrate dl, I will get down. So let's magnify. First of all, since dx is so small, this dl is like a small line segment. So the dl looks like this. And this side I have dx, and if I go forward by dx, then on the y-axis, I this is dy, so I have gone forward by dy. So on the y-axis I have dy. dx this way, then y goes from this is say y, and then this is dy. So. Now I have a right triangle here, and we know that dl squared is dx squared plus dy squared. So dl is plus minus, but the, since length is positive, I just take this dx squared plus dy squared. Okay, so. L will be integral from A to B of this guy, dr. So it's integral from A to B of dx squared plus dy squared. Uh, well, you might say, what kind of integral is this? Where is the dx? Where is the dy? Uh, under this radical. Okay, yeah, this is what I do. I Factorize the dx squared here. So I have a to b, and under this radical, I have dx squared 1 plus dy squared over dx squared. This is not d squared y, this is simply dy squared. And then this dx squared uh, comes out of the radical sign, and I write this one. Uh, in in this form, a to b, uh, one plus dy dx squared dx. Okay, so let me write this up here. And what is dy dx? Uh, we know that y of x, so dy dx is f prime x. We can either write it like this or we can write it in this form. Okay. So this is the formula for arc length. 
Okay, now this uh, say integrand that we have here. This integrand is not a, a simple one. Most often, uh, it doesn't have any closed form or exact form. Uh, so most often, you just leave it like this. And if you need the arc length and approximate value, you can use one of those integration. Uh, approximate integration techniques like midpoint or Simpson or something to uh, approximate L. Anyway, so let me just give you a simple example and you see even for the simplest example this is not easy to find. So let's look at this. Y equals fx, b, x squared, and a plus a, b, 1, and b is equal to just uh, simple, the simplest you can get. And uh, so this is from 1 to 2, to this, one, this length. Okay. Now the integral is uh, this up. L is integral from 0, 1 to 2, square root of 1 plus, uh, the derivative is 2x squared dx. So it is 1, 2, 1 plus 4x squared dx. Okay, so Well, it's not, uh, this one is not that hard to find, but anyway, you can see that uh, even this needs uh, some, uh, like uh, you have to use tangent, for example, and then you have tangent, uh, like secant, uh, I, I, can, I, get, uh, I guess it would be uh, one like that's a secant, and I have a secant square, so it's like secant to power 3. Uh, that's not a simple integral. Uh, so, even the simplest example gave me an integral that needs uh, some calculation. So, if you let x be uh, what I need, 1 plus 10 squared, so let's say 1 half tangent theta, then uh, I leave the rest to you to find uh, this integral. And this one is, as I said, is uh, simple to find, so uh, no, no problem with this one. But as I said, most often, if I just say x3, for example, then x3 would be uh, 2x squared, 3x squared squared, that would be x4. So, anyway, so most often, even if I ask you, yeah, I, mean, I give you something or some, somebody gives you some problem that's cooked up. So, and uh, the curve is so that you can, uh, uh, I mean, under this radical, you will see a nice uh, expression that uh, comes up to be a complete square. So, it, just you can move it out of that radical sign and integrate it. So, anyways. So that was uh, just the uh, arc length, and uh, so I will stop here.